What's going on, everybody? Today I'm going to show you my entire Disney VHS collection for November 24th, 2021, tomorrow's Thanksgiving. And this is my Disney VHS collection that I did one minute video on. And but I forgot to show off some tapes, so these I forgot to show. But now I'm going now I'm ready to start this video. Now let's we'll start with the caseless ones I have. And the first one I have is Mary Puppets, January twelfth, nineteen ninety seven. And the next one I have is Toy Story 2, August 20th, 2000. Take a look at this. Yeah, it's crippled up, but the taste still plays fine, but I have another copy. Next one I have is a rare one to find at the first store. This is the mystical copy of 101 Dalmatians. I can't see the printing for this one. Oh, wait a minute. I think it is September something, 1996. I don't know. But that was a good pick up find at the trust store. Hmm. It's gonna be a little hard for me. The next one I have is two copies of Aladdin. But I'm probably going to sell some of these tapes. Birthdays, July 18th, July 19th, 1993, put on my mom's birthday that year. Second copy. July 10th, 1993. Two copies of Bambi. Wallace copies. I accidentally got for eBay because I was trying to get the special platinum edition 2005 VHS of Bambi and it, it decided to give me this. So I was pretty upset about it. I can't see the seat to for this one. The next one I have is Booty and the Beast. To buy something in 1992, I can't really see the print date because it's faded. My back is going to start hurting a little bit. October 27th, 1992. Oh, I just go set by this. Cinderella. No birthday.
101 Dalmatians. Um, February 19th, 1992. This might be put on my dad's birthday, but I don't remember his birth what day his birthday is. The Jungle Book. Uh, this tape is pr the birthday is faded. Um, February 9th, 1991. A Little Mermaid. Verbal Ink Label. And this one has no birthday. I mean, it might have, but I just can't see it. Hopefully, I don't miss anything not on this video. Because there's sometimes I miss out the print dates and I had to make up for it. Peter Pan. Um, April 16th, 1990. Robin Hood, one of the classics. Um, February 6th, 1991. Two copies of Fantasia. October 2nd, 1991. I don't need to show the bag, I already showed it. Um, June 21st, 1991. Copies of The Lion King as much all hook copy. December thirteenth, nineteen ninety four. This is a stick available copy. January 12th, 1995. I don't know if this is a screener copy or not. I don't think it is. I don't know what, like, someone tell me in the comments what the stick available stand for. Book of this. February 14th, 1996. January 3rd, 1996.
two copies of Snow White. And the Seven Doors. September 17th, 1994. June 4th, 1994. Super Beauty. July 21st, 1997. Bednaz and Bootsteps. Um, September 4th, 1991. Uh, the, my... My, the Mighty Dust 2. August 4th, 1994. Mighty Dust 3. December 7th, 1996. One of my favorites, The Nightmare Before Christmas. I did watch this last month, and I'll probably go watch it again this, this month. Um, July 29th, 1994. Yeah, I really enjoyed this movie. And that was the only one I found the Savers, too. May 23rd, 1991. This was my childhood copy. I might have to be put to the grand show once I get another one. No, this one might be fine. January 24th, 1993. Return of Javar. The Return of Javar, sorry. Um, this is a Google copy. I got this from Google. Which I don't go shopping at Google very much. I already went once to pick up some tapes. I need to go again someday. March 29th, 1994. Yeah, my Google store near my house, it did not have a lot of VHS tapes, but I did pick up a rare one. The rarest one I picked up was uh, Guy Faye with the guy for Avenue Chipmunks, but that was it. But it was straight round two, so that was pretty looking fine. But Muppet Treasure Island. I do like the Muppets. I don't have a lot of them though. I'm going to try to get some. August 2nd, not to I sit. I 
I do have another Muppet tape, but it's not really a Disney movie, it's from Columbia Pictures. Alright, that's it for the 90s. Now to the free gold classic question. This is my first ever gold classic question I have. Oh, but that's not true. I thought about it and... I think when I was growing up, I had the gold classic question of Toy Story. But I don't have it anymore. But hopefully I find it again. Oh, and by the way, this is a Canadian copy. Which is a pretty lucky pickup. Cars numbers are 64 out of 120. I'm not afraid of it for the press store. That's why I have is the Gold Classic question that the Fox and the Hound. It was a sad movie. I don't watch it very much. It's in good condition, too. April 11th, 2000. Let me see. Let's take with the second from Toy Story. The first one from 1995. Go across the question and make my music. Which I have not seen this tape yet. It's in good condition too. May 9th, 2000. This thing was the second for the bus life. Another Dizzy Pistar um, recycle tape. Now to the four special editions I have at the moment. That's what I have is a special platinum edition, special edition of the Beauty and the Beast, which is a pretty, pretty lucky find at the thrift store. Yeah, I got it from the thrift store, if I'm not mistaken. Um, August 23rd, 2002. And no, this one, this, my copy does not have a background picture. It's quite white. I'm, going, I'm probably going to get another copy with the background picture if I can find one. This is one of my first special editions I got for, for, for this YouTube channel. This is a special edition of Jason Giant Peach. I really like, I really, really like the casing to this, especially with the black, the black clam shell. July 15, 2001. This one I have is a special edition of Pear Pan. This is a recycle tape, but otherwise it will have blue lid. January 15, 2002. Let me check. Okay, this tape was a sucker for Tarzan. I 
the last special edition I have is the special edition. Yeah, the special edition of Santa Claus. Which I'll probably go watch this month. I'll probably go watch it today. Blue Lake copy. December 6th, 2002. This tape just turned 19. No, wait a minute. Yeah. This tape is going to be 19 years old next month. Alright. That's what I have is Airbug Golden Receiver. Another white sticker label copy, just like Lion King. November 12th, 1998. This reminds me, I don't have the second one yet. I'm going to try to get that one. But there was a bunch of copies of Sabres, so I'm probably going to get it. Airbud, 7th Lean Fetch. I can't really pronounce that right. July 19th, 2004. Put it on my mom's birthday that year and a, and a late reprint. Got from the trip store. Atlantis Lost Empire. November 22nd, 2000, 2001. Sorry, not to one. The Big Green. This has the one actor from the, the Sandlot. Which is one, number one of my favorite movies. December 3rd, 1995. Biscuit Eater, just, I picked this tape up from Slackers, it's a good condition too, as you can see there, it's a little dip right there, that's it, but I have not watched this tape yet, August 26th, 2002, Well, my only Playhouse Disney VHS I have, The Booker Who. I think I saw this tape. I don't remember. I got this for 20 cents at the re Discovery Resale Store in Warrenville. May 16, 2001. This tape was just cycle from Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas. I bought this tape from eBay, The Brother Bear. February 27th, 2004. I saw working for the country bears. I think I might like this movie. Set of our two dreams come true. Canadian copy. There's a lot. This co this copy is really common if I'm at my local press store. Cost numbers are seven ninety nine seven hundred and ninety nine out of eight hundred. Cool Ryan. Because I found a 2002 reprint of this, but I have not got the tape, so I bought it before I did. November 6th, 1994. A sequel, World of One Donations 2, Past London Adventure. One of my copies with a dark blue lid. 
March 1st, 2003. Childhood copy, one on one donations. March fourteenth, nineteen ninety seven. One of two donations. By Stick Away Wall, January twenty fifth, two thousand one. Diamond Sore. This is an interesting movie I saw. December 9th, 2000. The Empire's New Groove. This one is a rare um, reprint. I'll show you why. This is because this is a blue red copy with date label. To birthdays June 4th and June 30th, 2003. Three years after. So, yeah, this is a late reprint. Lucky Fine at the first store. Fantasia 2000. The stick was straight red when I got it. I got it for the trust store too. July 24th, 2000. Two copies of Finding Nemo. That was my dog, sorry. September 6th, 2003. This is my black roll copy. September 11th, 2003. Holes. August 23rd, 2003. Two copies of Home Bound 2. June 6, 1996. Blue Red copy. Two. This one might have. This one probably have three print dates. November 8th, December 10th, and January 12th, 2002. So yeah, that one has three print dates. This was uh, another late reprint, March 26, 2004. I got this from the Trist store last year. Alright. I got another sequel of The Jungle Book 2. May 13th, 2003. But I have a Bought the Builder tape 
of building franchise that was printed on May 14, 2003. This tape was a cycle from Davy Davy Crockett. Yeah. Davy Crockett uh reprint of Davy Crockett. That's what I have is the another um sequel, Lady and Track to Scratch Adventure. January 22nd, 2001. I can't tell what this thing was a cycle from. Leo and Stitch. Another one of my favorites. It's a good condition too. The Bumper Sis 2002. The Lion King one and a half. December 30th, 2003. Even though this is a 2004 VHS, this tape was printed a day before New Year's Eve that year. And I got it for the trust store. Lizzie McGuire movie. No, the, the Lizzie McGuire movie. July 7th, July 16th, 2003. Lizzie the McGuire, growing, growing up Lizzie. This is episode four, volume two. November 14th, 2003. I don't think I ever watched the show growing up. I watched mostly Nick Williams, Cartoon Network, and PBS Kids growing up. Mickey Mouse of Mickey's House of Villains. Mouse of Villains, sorry. Missing up my worst air. Um, August 16th, 2002. Let me check real quick. Oh, yeah. This thing was a cycle for Dumbo. 